Ugh. Guys, we are on the home stretch with the RX-7. I mean, obviously the engine is not yet in the car and there are still so many things that we need to take care of, as you can tell by the huge amount of parts in this shelf. Ugh. But today I got something special for you because today we're gonna bring this baby closer to, well, this. Ryosuke Takahashi's FC RX-7 from the initial D anime. And well, to bring it closer to the actual car from the anime, there are a couple of things that we need to sort out. So let's take care of the first thing. And that would be, ah, this right here. This thing just arrived in the mail and I'm actually super excited to finally install this. This is gonna look so cool. And in case you couldn't tell yet, this is the new front lip for the FC. But Obviously, we cannot just bolt it onto the car without preparing it properly. And by preparing it, I mean painting it in the factory master color crystal white, so it matches with the rest of the car. Now guys, obviously I'm super super curious on how this will turn out. First of all, it's a spray can, so I'm really not expecting the most professional results here. But since it's just this little front lip down there, I think we can get away with it. And you've guessed it, before painting the lip, it first needs to be free from any grease, which is why I'm rubbing it down thoroughly with silicone remover. And well, then it's basically already time for the primer. And guys, I just want to say thank you that you've made it this far into the video. And if you've made it this far, please make sure to subscribe. This would greatly support the channel and help me reach more people with my content. And guys, while the first coat of primer is drying right now, let me actually tell you about this lip. Because this right here is actually a cork sport lip from the US. And you know, usually this is actually priced relatively reasonably. It costs like $250. However, I'm from Germany, which means that shipping actually cost me another like $350 more than the actual product. And then I had to pay the customs fee which was another like almost $200. So in total, this thing almost cost me like six or $700, which is fun. So I really hope this thing turns out good and I'm just not completely messing it up with my DIY spray paint job. Two hours later. And guys, check this out. The lip is finally installed. I finished painting it, hit it with a bit of clear coat and well, as you can tell, the white is not really matching because it's plastic metal and fiberglass so there's always a little bit of a difference and guys to be honest this was really a pain in the butt because on the spray can it actually said that it only needs like two coats maximum yeah i hit it with five coats and it still didn't cover very well so i've actually used up all of the paint that i ordered which means that i will have to order some more paint to paint the wing And while I'm patiently waiting for the paint to arrive, let me address something real quick. You know guys, us car enthusiasts, we love to modify our cars, we love to enhance the performance, make it look better, but one thing that we tend to forget is safety. Because let's be honest, like, what is it worth to have a fancy shiny car when it gets wrecked or stolen immediately? And this is exactly why I knew from the beginning that I do not only want to make this car look great and perform good, but also make it safe and convenient. And this is where I want to say a huge thank you to Aitoto for sending me over their P8 on dash add-on navigator device. And if you're wondering, like, bro, what does this thing have to do with safety? Let me explain it to you real quick. Ah, now obviously, as you can tell, this thing adds a bunch of convenience to the RX-7 by adding wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. But the most important thing for me, at least, is that this thing comes with dash cams, not only for the front, but also for the rear. Let's have a look at what comes in the box. First of all, we got a manual, quick start guide, and a whole bunch of accessories. First, we got ourselves a front dash cam, which is super, super cool. Next, we got our reversing camera slash rear dash cam, a wireless remote to change the volume, and this little thing. I'm gonna show you what this does in a minute, as well as a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, the mount for the device itself, the suction cup mount, and most importantly, the power adapter. And of course, 
the device itself. So guys, I'm just gonna conveniently place everything into this box right here and bring it to the car. Ugh. Okay, let's install this thing. I got everything I need here in this box. What I plan to do is actually mount it down here where my ashtray is because see, my ashtray is broken anyways. So this gives me the perfect opportunity to finally rip this thing out and put something fresh in there. And as you can tell, this thing literally fits perfect. It even comes with one of these sticky pads right here. So you can put this on there and then mount it on there with the suction cup as such and it will sit right here. I don't want to do that because I really want to keep the interior of the FC well, uh, period correct and relatively classy. And even though it looks good and modern, um, I wanna keep the classic touch to this interior, which is why I wanna mount it down there in a very discreet location where you can still see it very well, but not like boom in your face. Let's plug this in as such and hide the wiring back here. Now, Let's find the necessary wire for the front dash cam and the rear dash cam. As you can see, it's also conveniently labeled with front and D for probably dash. Um, at least I hope it's, it stands for dash. And well, basically we're <laughs> ready to go now. But before I put this in, let me install the front and rear dash cam real quick so we can route all of the wiring to the appropriate place. All right, guys, the front dash cam is installed. I've also installed the rear dash cam, which is actually super cool. I've never seen that. I mounted it up there on the rear window. So when you close it, as you can see, it is completely level. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. I think that really looks awesome. Obviously, I could still put it on the dash itself, but I really want to keep this clean. And I think that really, really fits. Let's test it out by putting the key in. And let's see if this thing turns on. And sure enough, it actually does. And guys, there we have it. I think that looks super, super cool. Let's turn Bluetooth on and connect it to the iToto. Ooh. Okay, already connected, perfect. Now that our phone is connected, we can even, uh, well, connect it via Android Auto. We can also go into the settings. Let's see, we have languages, display, what is that? Okay, that's just wallpapers. Guys, that's actually awesome. Like seriously, you can actually still keep your radio in the car and this is basically just an add-on, especially for navigation. This is really perfect. Obviously it doesn't work right now because I disabled the location services so you don't know where I'm actually at. Let's test out our dash cam because this thing has actually a function where you can look at the camera and there we have it. That is our dash cam in the front. Let's check out if the rear also works. And sure it does. For me, this is a very, very important feature. Super awesome. And by the way, if you want to get yourself one of these yourself, you can now get 5% off by clicking on the links in the description. You can either order it through Amazon or through the official website. Depending on where you order, there are different promo codes, but I'm going to leave everything you need to know in the description below. So check it out because yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Thank you to Toto for supporting this build. Oh, sounds like our paint is finally here. Let's get back home and paint the room finally. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon.
All right, and we're almost there. We just need to put all of this interior trim back on, which is gonna be super fun. Alright guys, <laughs> let's shut the trunk and see, uh, come on, how this thing looks. Damn, son! <laughs> that completely transforms the car. I don't know, let me know in the comments below what do you think. But there, wait, 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 hold up. <laughs> I don't know, but like, seriously, now we got the same front lip as the original, we got the same wing as the original. Finally, it's white. This was really bothering me when it was black. So I'm super glad that this is finally white. Um, I'm noticing that, yeah, the color is almost, almost there. It's not really spot on, but it still looks super cool. I think, especially in the sunlight or something, you will not see this very much, but like, especially because the light in here is kind of weird. Uh, yeah, it just, that was probably the best decision about this entire build to just paint this wing white. And just look at it, we are almost there. Now we just need to put the engine in so we can finally drive it. But it looks exactly the same. All right guys, like as I said, please let me know in the comments below what you think about this combo, especially with the lip, it looks it looks insane. At least I think it looks insane. I mean, of course, there is a bit of a color difference, but I think, as, like, as I said, in the sunlight, you will probably not be able to see it that much, but this lip just looks insane. By the way, this is actually for an S5, so for the facelift model of the FC. Um, the cork sport lip, just for your information, it also fits the S4. On the website it says it doesn't fit the S4, but it actually does. You just have to modify it a little bit and like, yeah, because the S5 front has like just a different radius of this bend right here. So you will have to modify it a little bit. Um, yeah, but <laughs> seriously, that just, I, I cannot believe how awesome that looks. That's just, uh, it turned out so freaking well, even though it was a spray paint job. And seriously, I cannot imagine how insane this thing will look once the hood is back on, once the engine is finally in the car, because like currently it's as high as a freaking bus. Um, yeah, obviously we still need to change the wheels and everything. So there's plenty of stuff to do, but I think we did pretty well so far. This is just one step closer now to the, to the original from the anime, and I'm super stoked about that.